If you are teetering on deciding whether to be a member of the National Gamekeepers organisation, maybe this will push you over the edge. It's a hillside in Derbyshire, and Browning has brought a range of its new rifles for NGO members to try, for free, with free food. Well, we have a tent on the hillside, and we have two tents actually. And we have a lovely selection of Browning uh, rifles and Winchester ammunition. And we obviously partner the NGO, the official rifle partner of the NGO. So we thought it would be fun to come out and um, show some of the members the new products and uh, they can have a try and um, it seems to be going quite well. The 2.2 is uh, very fun actually. We've got a, a 300 yard target. Obviously we wouldn't uh, advocate anyone shooting anything, at, trying to shoot anything at 300 yards with a 2.2 but it's just a little bit of fun. Uh, obviously effective killing range of a 2.2 up to about 100 yards so three times the normal distance that you would expect to use that product, so it's been good fun. Now, uh, you're saying that the slight edge side, if I may say, because right. only one person's hit the target. Only one person, and uh, that was actually me, but uh, I'm sure it was absolute fluke. I haven't managed to hit it since. <laughs> but we have um, uh, the GRS, Xbox GRS rifle here, which is fantastic. It's a, a heavy barrel, um, sort of customizable stock. Uh, we have the new X-Bolt Eclipse, which is the thumb hole laminate X-Bolt, which is lovely. And we have the standard X-Bolt um, composite stainless stalker. So it's a, a nice selection of four or five different rifles. So what do the punters think of it? The Browning, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're speaking as a ticker owner? Yes, I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> uh, certainly am, yeah, yeah. The day is taking place at Calton Moor Range, which has miles and miles of Derbyshire moorland to play with, and, for the Wombles amongst us, an underground range for fine-tuning that zero. Owner Mike Dickinson also has a guilty secret, a rather lovely new rifle in his shop that is not remotely a Browning. It's a Cyberside 600 Nitro, made for a, a client in the north of England. Um, Trevor Proctor's actually making it. It's going to be the last one he's going to make before he retires. And it's still a fair way off being finished yet. But it's coming on in leaps and bounds. You don't realise if you're just seeing it every day how much it is coming on. Have it's you, totally in the light yet. Have you, had, have you been able to use it yet? No, not been. It's, it's been fired and proof, but we've we're not even tempted to fire, we won't get round to regulating it for oh, another couple of months yet. So the next, next stage is um, polish it all up, finish all the pins and screws and then it can go to the engravers. Um, once it's back from the engravers and then it will go for colour hardening. Back from colour hardening then we'll checker it and finish the woodwork and final finishes and then black all the furniture and black all the barrels and regulate it. Um, we normally regulate these at about 25 yards. That's, the expected, that's the expected range to be using it. Dare I ask how much? And lots of knots, that's all I'm saying. To, to the nearest 10? <laughs> to the nearest 10, uh, probably about 70. It's very, very pretty gun. Um, it's left handed? It's left handed. Yeah, all proper guns should be left handed. There's <laughs> <laughs> the left hand gun. For more about Mike's range and shop, go to caltonmoorrange.com. For the NGO, go to nationalgamekeepers.org.uk. And to ogle the latest Browning rifles, visit browning.eu.